Okay, we're going to do Proposition 2, and this is in Book 1 of Euclid's Elements. So, and we are also going to do this with a piece of paper, two pieces of tape. Hold the paper in place. And we're only going to use a compass, a rule or straight edge, a pencil or, or a pen, and that is it. That's all we're going to use and, and our brain, actually. It's all Euclid wrote it out. All we have to do is do some reading. So, proposition two. For a given point to draw a straight line equal to a given straight line. So, we need a given point, and I like using the pen just on outside of drawing the circles. We're going to call that A, and we need a straight line. And straight line can just be some random orientation in some random place and we're just we are going to draw a line that's equal to that so there we go and we are going to label this line B C and now we're going to start reading and it's going to tell us exactly to do that okay let A be the given point and let B C uh, the straight the given straight line it is required to draw from the point A a straight line equal to BC. Now, equal to BC here doesn't mean uh, equal direction or parallel. It just means an equal length of the segment. And it's actually kind of hard to control the direction that BC is going to be um, in. Actually, I, I do know a little bit about where it's heading. And it's going to probably be heading down in this direction based on the orientation of B and, B and A. Um, so um, again, it's, it's not to draw a parallel line, it's just to draw a equal line segment in length from point A. Okay. From the point A to B, from point A to B, draw a straight line or line segment AB. So we're gonna go from here to here. Okay, and upon it describe the equilateral triangle DAB. Okay, so we're going to need an equilateral triangle. That is proposition one, and in proposition one we would draw two uh, circles around this, but if you really look at proposition one, you don't need two complete circles. All you need are two arcs of um, the same length. So two arc segments from a circle. And so we'll figure this out. And we're gonna draw one segment over here. And I need to intersection that segment coming from B. Uh, with radius centered at B. So that's my other segment. And now that is going to be point D. Okay. And so we need line segment DB. And line segment AD. Okay. That's not the greatest. And actually what I need to do, I need to draw this again anyway even though it didn't go through the points, I need to extend this line out. And I also need to extend this line out. I didn't read that completely there. So, um, the equilateral triangle DAB and produce the straight lines DA to E, so E's out here somewhere. We don't know where E is, but E's gonna be out here somewhere. And we need to uh, draw the line um, uh, BD or DB all the way to F. And again, it's out here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. From the center B, at the distance BC, describe the circle CGH. So we are gonna center it at B. The circles don't have to be as dark as the lines. It's just really the circles are guides. 
Okay, so we have that circle, and where it intersects down here, because they called it C, G, H, the inter this particular point right here is an intersection point, and that's going to be G. And the circle itself is, we're just going to call the circle itself H, or H, yes. From the center D, so we're going to draw another circle from D. From the distance DG, describe the circle G, K, L. Do another circle here with the centered here at D. Gonna go down here to, it has to pass through G. And it's gonna be um, G, K, L. The circle itself, I'm gonna call K, L, K, G, K, L. And this intersection point over here is point L. What we have here AL is equal to BC. So let's take a look at that. AL is equal to BC. So BC, using these dividers, which I didn't mention, uh, and AL. Just a line segment difference, okay? Okay, so AL is equal to BC. And why is that? Because, okay, the three hash marks here represent the equilateral triangle. Uh, this side is equal to that side is equal to that side. Then we have circle H on the inside. And circle H it has a radius of BC. Well, that, that radius is also the same as B to G. Okay. And then we have the large circle with radius DL or DG. Uh, they're both the same. So this side is the same as this side. And so what we have here, if we look at the segments of, of D, D, DG, DG is equal to DB plus BG. And if we look at the segment DL, DL is equal to DA plus AL. So DG is equal to DL, uh, e equals or equals, and uh, the, the parts of equals are equal to parts of equals. So what we have then is DB plus BG is equal to DA plus AL, but DB and DA are the same. And so what that says is that BG is equal to AL. So BG is equal to AL, but BG is a radius of, a, of the circle, and so is BC, so that says AL is equal to BC, which is dot, dot, dot. Henceforth, we are done. If you like the videos, please like and please subscribe. More are coming. Thank you.